And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time, pedal and delay show, delay, show, delay, show. My name is Gabor. Hey. <laughs> that was a delay. Nice. Hey, I'm Alex. Welcome along. And this is the um, second video in our series on the DL4 Mark II from yes. Mark 6. Please check, check out the first one if you want to get a technical overview and see what all the functions do. Yeah. We're going to check out the delay sounds in this one. Please stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Ding the notification bell. Send us some cookies. Yes, ramen. Send us some ramen. Ooh, ramen. The ramen man. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, it's going to be a lengthy video. We're going to be fairly quickly going through all the sounds, but we're going to do all the delay sounds, all the reverb sounds, chapter marks. Future me is going to hate myself for this, for putting all the stupid chapter marks <laughs> in, but we're doing it anyway. So I'll start off. We're going to start off with the... Um, Get yourself a cup of tea. I guess they call a glass them of wine. Alt settings, the new ones, the new sort of oh. white ones we're going to start off with. Then Alex is going to do the green ones. And then we're going to start looking at the reverb as well. Sweet. Okay. So see you in an hour or so. Plain time. So uh, we're going to start off, we, we, oh, and we're in stereo as well. So uh, use headphones or good speakers. Two iPads. Two iPads on the phone, <laughs> on the phone, on the toilet. Uh, or listen to this. So this is a clean sound in stereo. This is just a UAD thing on a... It's a little bit overdriven, but it'll be all right. Okay, now it's clean. Okay. Not overdriven anymore. <laughs> so we're going to start off with the first one, which is Vintage Delay. Vintage. Now, like with all the Line 6 stuff, uh, the t time repeats and mix is self-explanatory and the tap is self-explanatory, but you've got those two tweak and tweeze. They're always different depending on what um, what delay we're looking at. Yep. So in this one, we've got the bit depth and sample rate on tweak, and we've got the mod depth on tweeze, the modulation. <laughs> So it goes down as you turn it up. So lo-fi digital delay, basically. All right, next. Crisscross. Crisscross. Now crisscross is pretty cool. It's got a, it's got two delays and they kind of go back and forth between left and right. So use headphones. So tweak is t uh, delay time B, and this is the cross amount on tweeze. Yeah. Lovely stereo image. It's cool. It's kind of ambient without being just washy and yeah, because it's really just weird. Two delays, and I guess they're kind of crossing over, and then you have Panning, yeah. ping pong kind of thing, and then with the tweezer can decide how much or how quick it goes. Just I think it's like an LFO that goes back and forth. It's inter I don't, yeah, it's, 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 it's an interesting sound. Okay, anyway, so that's the crisscross. Next, Next Euclidean. Now, that's, that's one of the trickier ones to sort of explain. 
So a, a Euclidean rhythm, what a Euclidean rhythm is basically, it's, you've got to imagine a circle, right? Yep. And now one of the things you get, um, it, they call it step fill, but basically it's kind of like a subdivision. It's how many steps. So you divide that circle into a whole bunch of different steps. Uh, they're usually sort of even-ish steps, but they don't necessarily have to be even steps. Um, and then you ro with the other one, you rotate that circle. So the where the steps are changes always as you rotate it. It's like your starting point to the next. Yeah, it always changes to each segment. So it's it, it's a yeah. quirky kind of. Um... So that's but you got that's your subdivisions, right? So as you rotate it, they stay relative to each other, but not to the original node. So they move away from where the original note is or the original rhythm Same. is. That's why that makes it the pattern. And if you turn the repeats right down, I think it... And it's a cool stereo image too. But if we have too much fun, the video is going to be two hours long. Okay, so let's no. go to the next one. Dual delay. Dual delay. So it's just a dual so delay. Um, and you've got... Right delay time right and right delay. feedback. And it's a cool sandwich too. So one... It's almost swinging. That it's all, it was almost kind of swinging. And one only has a couple of repeats, the other one's lots of repeats. Yeah. Oh, because you have repeat time for the second one. So is that the repeat time for the... Yeah. So, yeah. so that's the one you have lots of. So we can uh, all turn the repeats on that one up then. So then they both, yeah. Cool, so that's a dual delay. I mean... Right on, pitch echo is the next pitch one. Pitch echo is the next one. <laughs> So now you can go, and I like that you can go 13 semitones, mm. not 12, not to an octave, oh, yes. you go one further. <laughs> How to make friends and influence people, right? Yeah. So. And the other one is the pitch sense, so you can go even more out of tune <laughs> if you really yes. want to. Push it. Okay, so the mid middle is unison.
And if you turn the repeats down, it's just one repeat, so you just get that. Well, if you turn the repeats up, then they go up every time it repeats. That's weird. <clears throat> so that's pitch delay. Uh, next one, ADT. Now, ADT is analog double tracker. Yes. Um, vibe to it when you were turning something. It's just a slightly delayed, very short delay signal and maybe slightly modulated to make it. Yeah, that's modulation is the uh, tw okay. tweez. Okay. All right, next one, duct. Good. Duct delay, I mean, it's basically just a normal delay, but as you're playing, it brings the volume back. The threshold and the ducking amount. So you've got... But then as you're playing, so it's basically gone. There's, there was nothing there. Stuck delay. Harmony. Harmony. Now, uh, here you have, or oh, you can select a key. Wow. So if you go all the way down, it's A. Which modes? Okay. That's just, that's sky. It's like a, it picks different harmonies. It's pitch mode. That's kind of cool, actually. When you play a different note, it sounds kind of weird. So I'm just playing three notes that are the same. A lot of 
intention there. Oh, that's not intention. <laughs> yep, yep, that's a good word for it. But that's by, and then you can select a different key. Let's select, let's select a different key. That one. <laughs> That's harmony. That's can leave it on. Uh, Looper is Looper. We don't need to worry about that. Heliosphere. Now, Heliosphere is a sort of reverb delay thing. Uh, where it's quite a pretty sort of uh, delay sound. So it's got its own reverb built in, so you don't even need yeah. to use the reverbs that are in there. Just mix it, if you uh, and you can mix it in, and it's got it's a reverb mix and decay, and then you've got modulation of the reverb here. Yes. <laughs> pretty lovely next one transistor now transistor is a solid state based tape echo uh, mm. that's oh. known wildly known <laughs> It is cool, yeah. And I mean, uh, uh, if people don't understand solid state, it doesn't mean it's a, it's a still a tape. The solid state is a preamp in it. That's what it refers to. There's tube-driven tape echoes. There's solid state tape echoes. So this is a solid state tape echo. Uh, and you've got uh, kind of you, you're pushing the front end of it with this, get a bit of you know boost and uh, wound flutter. So uh, tape age base. <laughs> sounding delay Pretty. that's really nice yeah. all right next one cosmos to the heavens up oh, to the heavens is, um, space echo it's can. space echo yeah, yeah. so i've got head, head um head select so you can do combinations of single heads one two three or one and three two and three one two and three and the tweeze is wow and flutter so in the center you don't have any and then or i guess yeah it doesn't matter So you've got the tweezers, one flutter to the right, center to the right, you add one flutter, to the left you turn tone down. Uh, uh, what about, what about, what am I going to play? What about, what about, what about, what about, what about the other? Thank you. 
That's that. Cosmos. Multipass. So it's kind of like, it's reminiscent of the sweep. Leave it like that. Just leave, yeah, I mean. In all honesty, a lot of times when you just go through them, it goes through kind of a preset they made. They sound great, I think, a lot of times. I mean, maybe the tempo is something you've got to adjust. But a lot of times I find the presets. The starting point. Starting point um, sounds great. Reminded me of an escalator into heavenly places. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please don't copyright infringers like, for that. Like Maya. Uh, <laughs> Next. It's a cool... It's a, uh, and yeah, so you've got... That's oh, yeah. a pattern. So... Um, And Tweez changes the uh, delay mode, so it gives you different variations. And combinations of. That's swell. a lovely one. I always like the swell, swell delay. Not swell, the, uh, um, what was it called on the old one? Uh, sweep delay, which is on the same one, but that one, this one. I always like that, and that's sort of a, a, a new version. Uh, okay, Adriatic. Ooh. Now that's kind of more like a standard uh, pedal, analog pedal kind of. modulation so you can have it less modulated or more modulated that's Adriatic then you've got Elephant Man, which I think we all know what that is. Let's not play that again. <laughs> well, that's, I mean, that's that typical that, uh... feedback yep just a lovely delay so with that as well you've got a modulation and you can go between chorus and vibrato so uh, on I think on this side 
fifth chorus on the other side it's vibrato and that's the depth of the modulation I think Very it was cool. just a rig rundown with a song that kind of, well, not rig rundown, the the other pedal show, the ones that copy us, did uh, <laughs> with Neil Finn, and uh. he uses two of those Elephant Man. Uh, and lastly, all the way around, Glitch. Glitch. Now, with that, you can uh, change the pitch, and the uh, feedback and sequence drift and shuffle is tweeze. <laughs> So it kind of mangles up. It takes a little bit. Some go sure. backwards, some go forwards. It goes sort of in all different directions. It sounds a bit glitchy. It sounds a bit glitchy, yeah, that's right. So that's all the white ones. Now, Alex, how would you like oh. to play all the green ones? Love the green ones. Let's go green. Okay, now we are on the legacy settings. So now all the green ones around there are the ones that are... The 90s settings. The 90s settings. Mm. Uh, which are the sa basically, in effect, it's now the same as the old DL4, the original DL4. So let's start off on digital. Now, with digital delay, standard digital delay, you've got bass and treble control. that does digitally delay the thing. Yes. Now, how would you like some modulation with that digital delay? Yeah, sure. Let's do that. <laughs> There's a bit going on. Okay, that's there? the rate of the modulation. And, uh, no, sorry, hang on. No. Yeah, that's the rate, not the depth. So like, how, how, uh, just quickly see how, how deep does it go? Pretty deep. So, now, quite warm. Next one, Echo Platter, and we have the Wow and Flutter, and yep. we have the Drive. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, next one. Uh, echo. Oh, no, we just did echo plateau. Uh, stereo. stereo. So you've got the right delay time Ooh. as a percentage of the left delay time, and that's a repeat. So it's subdivisions, basically. That's lovely. Beautiful stereo image. That's why I had the two phones. It's bloody grass. Uh, okay, next one. Uh, ping pong. Uh, and that's time offset. And that's the stereo spread. Hey, look at it. So it was, it was harsh when you hit a, hit a wrong note on a delay. That's broken, that one. If you hit a long, wrong note on a delay, you, you, you live it, you know. You, you relive it. You regret <laughs> it. You relive it and relive it and relive it. Whew. Okay, Space. next one. Reverse, one of your favourites. Oh, yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe play, for, time, play more. Time. going on there isn't yeah it? sorry I turned it down <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bit mind altering <laughs>
Okay, let's move on. Because that sounded a bit best of the <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, next one is Dynamics. So it's basically Sorry. another duck delay, but it's the older version duck delay. Um, and again, you've got um, threshold and the amount of ducking here. How many ducks you need? How many ducks? Basically, as you said, ducking is, a, is how, how much volume it drops. Yep. All the way up, it goes completely away as you're playing, but you can have it just so it goes a little bit quieter. And threshold sets um, how hard you have to hit it, or how loud the noise has to be before the ducking takes effect. Next one. It's pretty handy, especially with um, distortion sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next one, auto volume. So it's a swell thing, I guess. Ooh. It's swell how it swells. That's and swell. it's modulation and swell time as well. I know it's not what we're doing right now, but really. let's bring in a reverb because I reckon that'd be lovely together with a reverb. That plateau reverb that I accidentally selected, I didn't even know, but it's a big, massive, lovely reverb. Shit. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Next, we're not doing a looper, uh, tube echo. Gotcha. <laughs> Basically, like a slapbacky kind of thing. Uh, drive, no? Tweeze gives you some gain, yeah, yeah, drive, and that's modulation. Uh, all right, next, tape echo. Another well known tape echo unit with um, treble and bass. Thank you. 
uh, yes. multi head. Now uh, uh, that gives you different head combinations, basically. So. Our next one is one of my favorites, Sweep Echo, which is the one I, I I used to have the little Echo Boy. Is it Echo Boy? Echo Park. Ah, oh, yes. The single pedal, and that, that was the thing I was used on it. I loved mm. Sweep sweep Delay. He's thinking of a different boy. I really like that. That's one of my favorites yeah, in the Line 6 thing. Uh, okay, uh, coming towards the end. Uh, analog, bass mm. and treble. Same, just with modulation. Oh, yeah, nice. And I've got the modulation uh, rate and depth. And one last one, which is another one of my favorites, and it's one that we use here a bit too, actually. Oh, actually, it's currently set to analog with mod. So that's one of the ones oh. we use when we turn that on every once in a while. But one of the other ones we use is the low res delay. That's cool too. And you've got uh, a tone and you've got the like bit rate resolution of the low res-ness. <laughs> And you can, by turning the mm. delay time all the way down and the mix all the way up, you can kind of make it just like a lo-fi guitar sound. You can make it sound really weird. So that's all the legacy d delays. Now, should we look at all the reverbs? I think maybe in another video, because this will go forever and ever. No, no. 
You wanted to do it all in one video, we're doing it in one video. We'll be back up to this. <laughs> all right, last but not least, before we go completely insane, uh, let's do all the reverbs. Uh, now, basically, what you, all you got to do is when you're on a delay setting, we have delay now. Turn the mix down. No delay. Delay gone. Bye bye delay. No delay. Isn't that a Beck album? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so now we're going to start off. So you've got to hold in that button. The, the old legacy button, if you hold it in and select these, these are all different reverbs now as well. So right up the top, we have room. Mm -hmm. And then you have pre-delay and, oh, and with this you can change your order. So you can have either the reverb going into delay, delay going into reverb or running parallel. Uh, we're not gonna use that at the moment because we're not doing that anyway. So we're just quickly looking at, so we've basically got, uh, you gotta hold the button in that's your decay time always repeats. This doesn't do anything. And tweak to, uh, tweak has different settings. So in this case, it's a pre-delay. Cool. So let's see what it sounds like. Room, eh? That's a room re re reverb. It's room Now, next one. So again, hold the button in, move to the next one. Now, you need the manual to see what they are. Uh, this next one is Searchlights, which is like a cool modulated uh, reverb. And here you have the modulation mix and intensity. And intensity. Uh, and again, that's the order, that which we're not doing in this time, and that's just the mix, and that's yeah. a decay time. Okay. Uh, F sharp minor. Okay. It's a lovely reverb. I like that one. Now, next one, particle verb. Mm. You don't get and in this, you've got the condition is tweak. So let's let's see how we condition our particles. <laughs> but you never ask. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, particle reverb. Next one. That's interesting. Uh, we have double tank. Uh, two tanks, not just one, two tanks. And it's a modulation depth on that. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Pretty long, isn't it? Yep. Pretty long one. Octo. Long tank. Octo, and we've got the intensities to... That's my nickname in high school. Long Octo. tank. Long tank. <laughs> <laughs> in for a while. I had to get lost in for a while, yeah. Uh, next one. Yo. Tile. No ducks in the tile. No, no, no. And it's a pre-delay. Does sound uh, bathroom-esque. Yeah. Ducking, ducking reverb, uh, again, pre delay. D duck heavy. Yes, lots of ducks. Basically, as you're playing, it kind of quietens down a little bit. Uh, then we have Plateau, which is a lovely one. Now, they have all these different pitch modes that you can select. Yeah, so let's yeah. just see how we go. We'll see what make crazy noises we can yes. do. Um, D. Maybe do more like, str like long strummy chords. So you select different into it, it's always two intervals so you can select mm. between uh down two octaves up an octave down two octaves up two octaves down an octave up an octave down an octave up two octaves down an octave up a fifth and so on and so on you know that's pretty cool it's it's pretty cool yeah it's it's a it's not massive a spacious I, I really like that's one of my yeah. again my, on the helix world that's one of my favorite reverbs then uh, we don't have anything at the looper so that's where you can turn it off technically then next one uh we've got cave that's us we're cavemen <laughs> They're pretty reverbs. I like the cave. Cave is good. Mad for the cave. Uh, next on plate. No, plate. I like plates. Big fan of caves. I'm a, I'm a fan of plates. Oh, yeah. He likes caves. I like plates. Yeah. 
Pre-delay again, like on the previous one. It's lovely. I like the plate on there. Uh, next one, Ganymede. Or I don't know how you what pronounce you it properly. Ganymede? Ganymede. Yeah. Isn't that like a horse tranquilizer? Which is, I think it's like a heavily, <laughs> possibly, Sorry. Sorry, heavily guys. modulated reverb. Right. So the second half, they're those big, luscious, lovely ones now. Yeah, uh, that's groovy. Chamber. Mm. Retro chamber. <laughs> Chamber. <laughs> Whee, spicy chamber. Accidentally turned a delay on them. <laughs> yeah, you made it sound nice, so that's yeah. Okay. Well, that was a chamber anyway. Uh, hang on, do we have delay now? Um. No. We do. Okay, sorry, I accidentally pushed a button, then the delay turned on. Uh, now, uh, uh, what's next? Hot springs. Hot springs. Which I think, as far as I remember, uh, Ryan Burke, sixty cycle hum, mm. drip approved. So it's like a um, spring reverb. Spring. Muted like just low notes. And that's a spring count, so you can yes. have a smaller spring tank or a bigger spring tank. Uh, okay, we're yeah. almost at the end, folks. Whew. Hall. And it's ramen time. Like the kids in the hall, and then it's ramen time.
It's a nice hall. It's a big hall. Concert hall. <laughs> That's a massive hall. Okay, last. Glitz. That's the modulation. Sure. But they're lovely reverbs. I've got to say, and I mean, yes, Line 6 sent us this, but I'm I'm a fan of, I've always been a fan of the Line 6 reverbs and delays. Mm. Um, I used to use the old DL4 for ages. And even, I I personally preferred it to things like the timeline and stuff like that. Sure. I just, I, I don't know, I like mm. the way their delays sound and the way their reverbs sound. I think they're really nice versions. Yes, definitely. So that was all so, the sounds. And then, of course, should we do another video where we combine all the delay sounds with all the reverb sounds, every possible combination? Yeah, but not today. <laughs> uh, yes, so that's the very, Possibly. very long video uh, of all the sounds. Yeah, you can't get angry, say we didn't do anything. Yes, it was all time stamped, hopefully. <laughs> I'm going to hate myself for doing this. If you this, made it this long, congratulations. We will send you a... Cookie emoji. Cookie emoji. Let us know and you get a cookie emoji. If you, if you jump on our Facebook group and let us know you made it. Or even in the comments of this video, I'll give you a cookie, cookie yeah, emoji. Sure. Um, yeah, so there's tons of sounds on there and then you can combine them. That's the thing. So there's lots and lots of stuff going on. There'll be more videos with this, uh, with microphones possibly, with MIDI possibly, talking more about a looper possibly, all that sort of stuff. So stay tuned for that. Big thank you to the awesome people at Line 6 Australia, uh, Yamaha Line 6 Australia. Also for sending me this lovely thing. Brown. Um, Brown guitar. Sunset burst guitar, <laughs> man. Uh, and yeah, see, let us know uh, if you made it this far. Let us know in the comments below if there's anything else in particular you want us to do with the DL4 Mark II. Thanks for hanging. Good on you. We'll see you soon. <laughs>